2021 bike, it's been developed in Europe. And, and for me personally, you know, seeing the success that it had last year with Tim Geiser winning the world championship, also as well, you know, I don't want to talk too much about the Supercross because I know Mark hasn't seen it, but you know, when we were looking at Ken Roxon and some of the other guys that are the youngsters that are riding, riding the 2020 model and, and they've got to ride a similar kind of, well, they've got to ride the chassis in America, I think, anyway, haven't they, with the, the ruling. have got Chase, you know, and, and them guys, and, and it seems to be that, you know, the guys do kind of go up a level when they're riding and, or, or have been riding this model. And, it, and it's nice to see that kind of, that smooth but aggressive style out on track and, and, and again, you know, I know that we've, we've I don't want to make this a, a suspension video, you know, it's because it, the, the bike itself, I think, has been, um, has been undersold. Um, and I feel that personally that the bike it deserves a little bit more credit than maybe it's been been seeing. And, and it's one of the reasons why I wanted to get hold of Mark as well, really, because, you know, he doesn't hold back on what he thinks, you know, and if he thinks, you know, that something isn't right, then, you know, then he, he's not scared to say. And, and from, you know, from, from what I'm hearing, Mark, is, is that, you know, you are loving this bike. I mean, listen, there's nothing wrong with this bike. This bike is an awesome bike. The only thing that's wrong is we can't get them. Yeah. That, that's the only thing that's wrong with this bike. Yeah. It's just been, you know, we just can't get them. Yeah. I mean, we've had five so far. I mean, I've got still more people on them. Yeah. You know, I, I need you more need of more these bikes. bikes. And, and um, the, you know, they, they've had a great season with Geyser. Yeah, you know, it's been big press launches. Everyone's going mad about it. You know, I get a big list of names. Yeah. You know, this is what you want. We want to sell some bikes for once, and can't get them. Yeah. And it's just, it's just. It's a little it's, bit frustrating. It's, yeah, it's frustrating. It's with this COVID thing that once again Honda bring a new bike out, and they've kind of been shot in the foot. Yeah. Not being able to, you know, produce the bikes from the factory, and um, and then the same last time when they bought the bike out in 2017, they had the tsunami. Yeah. So. You see, like every time they bring a new model out and everyone wants it, you know, it's well, delayed disaster. and we can't get it. Or, well, yeah, well, well disaster. disaster. So, very unlucky, really. I mean, maybe they should think of changing their model year to an even number. <laughs> might, well, I don't know. It might work. <laughs> but, but, yeah, good. But, um, so, you know, just again then, for, for, regarding on the, the world devastation, should I say, um, you know, that's pretty much what will happen when people get out and start riding this bike, really, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's it. People want to get out and ride them. I mean, we've, the ones we've sold, people can't ride them. They want to ride them. And uh, and even some of the people who've got their names down for the new ones are, are pretty much saying, well, you know, there's no point spending the money at the moment. We don't know when we're going to be able to ride it. So, actually, it's, you know, the pressure's pretty much off, really. But, but it would be nice to get some bikes in and get them out the door. Five of the best things then on the 2021 Honda, quickly, from, uh, if you'd like to give me a quick um, rundown. Well, it's lighter with a, and a lower centre of gravity. Um, the hydraulic clutch, obviously. Um, st steeper steering head angle, which is better. Um, it's much slimmer and yep. more manoeuvrable and easier to ride. And also, you know, the linkage, rear linkage and rear shock is much better and more forgiving. So, yeah. Yeah, for me, it's a, it's a big, big plus, you know. Yeah. I obviously know you from old and you know you're up and you're, you are Honda through and through haven't you you're up and, <laughs> you know it, it, it's well, safe yeah, to say that isn't it yeah, you know? yeah. But, but I mean up for, uh, you know I, I know that you probably don't make it common knowledge to most people but I mean I have seen you you know taking swinging arms out linkages and mixing things out of previous years and going for it you know and just changing different things and suspension yeah, yeah. settings and yeah. so on which yeah. we'll get to a little bit at the moment yeah, but, yeah. but you haven't done any of that to this bike? No, that's it. I mean, think when I was racing, maybe I used to mess around more and to try and tailor make things to the way I exactly wanted them. But I think now to try and use the production stuff is probably better because, you know, then I can give a good service to the customer because they're running exactly the same yeah. setup as me, same linkage every. And to be honest, I've, you know, I've learned quite a lot and kind of found out that you can do quite a lot of the work in the shop. Like you just touched on really, it's the racing thing, isn't it? If you yeah. know, if you're changing the linkages, which does happen, then you're searching for that that little bit of extra percentage, aren't you? Yeah, it's yeah. not it, for the yeah. average rider, yeah. you know, it's not a problem, is no. it? So but I mean but for me, I know you 
yeah, quite well, and I know how yeah. fussy you are. Yeah, you right? can be. Yeah, yeah, yeah like you, be. you. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. like you know, and it's and that it basically speaks volumes, I think, for this bike that you know, if you aren't going to that extreme, because you still do enjoy I mean, your riding, and yeah. you still, you know, you're still competitive. Even I mean, to be honest, I mean, 17, 18, the rear link was a bit stiff. Yeah, you know, it was uh, went harsh after through the stroke, and then nineteen and twenty with the when they slightly changed the frame, they changed the swing arm linkage, they kind of cured that. Yeah. And it seems like this one they've made it a little bit better again. Yeah. So really it's like the linkage has got better. Yeah. And um, and it just makes the overall handling well, better. You know, you seem to be able to get away with more like if you wheelie into a hole before if you weren't exactly straight, you know, the bike would like to snatch in on you. And now it just doesn't really do that. It's, it, if it does it's a lot more slow doing it, you know, it's not so quick. How robust is the clutch do you think the twenty twenty one is? Well, on the old bike, obviously, I'd have to straight away change springs yeah. before I rode it. And then probably every three rides, I'd take the clutch plates out and measure them. Yeah. And probably normally change like three of the fibres, yeah. the ones closest in, because everyone's got hottest. Um, but with this, I've actually rode it six times now. And to be honest, all of them in quite it's tough quite conditions, because we've had a lot of rain. Yeah. And um, yeah, I took it out, well, literally earlier today and uh, measured the plates. and. And all of them are good, and the, the clutch looks good. So that says to me that this is, you know, easily like three or four times stronger than what we had before. Yeah. You know, so this is this is quite good. What do you think of the power this year? I like it. I mean, I, I don't, you know, I see a few tests and people say it didn't have much bottom end power, but for me, it feels like it's got more connection. I mean, I mean it really has. I mean, it feels like the throttle's really connected to the re rear wheel. Yeah. And um, you know, you can almost play with it a little bit and. But don't get it wrong, it is fast. I mean, it's probably too fast for the average people. Um, but I have been mapping them, and I mean, let that mid-range out, yeah. and it's made it a lot more rideable. And um, so this is what's happened with this bike, though, isn't it? It does seem to have a little bit of uh, more torque than the previous model, oh, which definitely. which helps it. Which yeah. helps it. It well, feels better to ride yeah. and manoeuvre, like when you come through the turn. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we're running standard gearing this year, 49 teeth, and I'm running the same gear as I was last year with 50 teeth. Yeah. So straight away, we're, you know, we're pulling one tooth less, so the bike's definitely got more torque. But that's you not know. to say that the bike doesn't rev out, because even like, like you said, like it still well, does stretch a gear, well, doesn't it, it? It goes a bit crazy, to yeah. be honest. I mean, with standard mapping, like mode one, you know, it gets in the mid range and it goes a bit mad. It's a bit hard to hang on to if you've like, got the throttle wide open. And so, I mean, obviously, we just put a bit more fuel through that section, just calm that down. Yeah, it's made it easier to ride. But um, yeah, still early days with the mapping. Really, I think I can still make it quite a lot better. Yeah. Mm. So general, the the general feel, the overall feel of the bike. You know, when you've been riding it, because you know, again, I, I got to ride this bike in Italy. And first impressions of the bike straight away was like the connection points. You know, where you where you where you was. Where your body was connected to the bike felt good yeah and then just how it again how it could follow the line was good yeah uh, personally myself Definitely, yeah i felt that the bike um you know the suspension maybe was uh i don't know maybe firm up on the top and a, a little bit softer down below is kind of what i felt yeah um it just it's just something i couldn't predict but you know we changed a few of the settings you know yeah i mean just going back a little bit about the riding position like we, we started what you started with there yeah. i mean the, for me, the ride position is is really comfortable, and, yeah. it, and it's easy to keep your feet up, and it's easy to stand up. Yeah. Um, when you're riding, standing up, you feel like you have a lot of control. Yeah. Um, and like you said, following ruts is unbelievable compared to last year's bike. I mean, you get in a rut, and it, I mean, before you, it, the bike was good in ruts. Don't get me wrong, but you, you have to work it a little bit, and this it just goes round, and the front wheel just follows it. It's like it, even when they get deeper and bumpy, it's just. It's very good for that, and I think that's because the the steering angle is a little bit steeper this year. Yeah. Yeah, so you've got a bit of weight on the front wheel. You know, it's put the engine a little bit closer to the front wheel, and I've got a little bit longer swinging arm, which gives you that more forgiving rear end, and and obviously you know, so that definitely contributes to the way the bike feels and makes it easy to stand up and keep your feet up. Um, that's probably why they put a longer fork in, is because the fork's slightly steeper. Right. You know, and uh, so you can push it out a bit in deep sand. You know. Yeah. Um, so it's not too uh, too too tucky because I mean it turns tight if you want it to yeah you know it really does but um, and then the suspension yeah you're right I mean exactly what you said I mean it's the, the usual thing for a production Honda pretty much it's like too hard at the top and all the little stuff you feel too much and it's yeah. too nervous like too fast front feel the stones just in the paddock can't yeah, you, you just, just feel everything and, and, it, and it's 
it feels like the wheel rolls in the air because there's not enough rebound at the top and then yeah and then pretty much you know when you hit anything big that matters it, it kind of blows through. blows through and you feel like the wheels are in my guard so you know but that's that's nothing new there yeah you know so we're already well on the way with that and we've been testing quite a bit when we can it's not easy but um you know, we're obviously not nowhere near as far down the road as we'd normally be because of what's yeah. going on but but yeah, we've we've done quite a bit, and we're really happy with the shot, and really happy with the forks already. We've got good balance, and so uh, yeah. What do you days, really. regarding like you know again with the chassis? So I hear a lot of people always talking about the movability of a Honda, and it is you know a few years ago it was it was sold on the fact that it was I think it was the flickable you know or something like that scrub something or flickable yeah, yeah you know that was that was one of the you know one of the selling points and. That's all down to the, you know, the centralisation. I should have said, you know, the centralisation of the engine and, and the frame and how it all how yeah. it works. And um, I think sometimes that gets overlooked quite a lot on the Honda because yeah. because you get on the bike and you do feel so comfortable on the bike, and then you do start move. You know, you can move it in the air quite freely, um, and you know, and and you always feel like you can do certain things on this model or this bike that you can't maybe that you you're forced to try and do on on maybe some other makes. Yeah, I think it's a centralised mass the theory. Yeah. You know that they started with in 2017 or 16 yeah. or 16, whenever it was. Um, with the, or 13 I think with the first twin pipe bike so yeah a long time ago but anyway I think it's to do with all that and uh, even though the bike's only a little bit lighter on the scales and maybe not the lightest on the scales compared to other manufacturers when you ride it it always feels lighter and then with the 21 bike they've obviously gone even further by moving all the battery and electrics down yeah you know like they've put the battery like down just on top of the engine and that's battery the engine and all the electrics down the left hand side because obviously you've only got a single and and really up here where you had all the weight and electrics before it's just nothing so it's really thought out and designed it's yeah. kind of, and that, so that's, that's going to make it feel, feel a lot lighter because everything's down lower yeah you know? and that's the thing that i think you know that maybe honda don't get enough credit for yeah you know because it because it's massively overlooked yeah yeah so you know it is easy to do well, you know people it's, just look at the weight on yeah. the scales what it is in here but they don't when you ride it they always feel lighter and bikes, it's kind of it's kind yeah. of one of those things that you've got beyond, below the kneecap. It's yeah. just there, isn't it? Yeah. yeah Do you know what I mean? Move. It's like it's there, doesn't it? Just yeah. feel, and that's why I was saying and about you can change direction quick, like even down a straight, just by using your feet. Yes. You can just change direction just by waiting the footrest. Yeah. Quick. yeah. But, and that's, but they've always been like that, Hondas. You know, that's and that's what I've a, always liked about them. Really. Yeah, and then I suppose that's the that's the probably a little bit why as well that you concentrate so hard on the suspension as well to try and get it because obviously when something's so good and the suspension's so personal, yeah. you try and always get that you know you want to get it right, don't you? Because but, because you're searching that kind of like perfect ride, aren't you? Perfect track time. Yeah, definitely. And I think it seems like nowadays it's easier to get the suspension better than yeah. the production. I mean, I remember 2002 the CR250 came out and out of the box. I mean, that thing was good. Yeah. You know, the only thing was a little bit soft, but. So then, then it's not an easy bike to make better. So, you know, that's it, the verdict's in. We've spoke to the man himself, you know, Mark Eastwood. He's been riding these um, these bikes for, for a number of years now. And um, <laughs> how many years, Mark? Come on, are you going to say how old you are on here now? You know, 50 now. 50, and yeah. he's still hard at it. So, 50, yeah. so you know, so the, let's just say he's very knowledgeable. And, um, yeah, and it, you know, if it's good enough for him, then it's certainly good enough for anybody else.